I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up, guys? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another episode of Learning to Snipe. Uh, this is a small YouTube series I do about learning to snipe in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. And in today's episode, we'll be using the SRR-61 on uh, Flooded in Battlefield 4. So, um, this is one of my uh, favorite maps, and um, probably because there's so many good uh, sniper positions. Look at that nice little double kill right there. I love the G18 Suppress. It is my favorite secondary so far. And a lot of you guys have given me recommendations and said, oh, try the Desert Eagle, that's what you need. But I don't have any of the DLCs. And in order to unlock the Desert Eagle, you need uh, the DLC. I'll probably end up getting the DLC later on. But honestly, Battlefield 4 maps are so big, I'm still getting used to them. So I don't want to add more maps and things into it. Um, I have unlocked all the sniper rifles that I can unlock. I've got the Recon Mastery. Um, so... Yeah, I've uh, I've done it a lot, and the sniper rifles I found are the most fun, or the most effective so far, are the SRR61, which is probably the one I've used the most, and then uh, the M98B, uh, coming in a close second to that, and probably my favorite, and then uh, more recently the 338 Recon uh, because of the quick bolt action on it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions or opinions on other sniper rifles that you like to use, just let me know. Um, so I think one of the reasons I like Flooded is because there's no tanks or vehicles. And I know a big part of Battlefield is the, the vehicles that you can use. And uh, sometimes I do have fun getting into a tank. I have been getting better at it. And uh, a lot of people smashed me on my last video like, man, you shouldn't waste tanks and this and that. And it's like, you know, I, I play this game just to have... Well, <laughs> you see that guy fly over there? Um, I play this game just to have fun. I'm not a competitive player. Um, I don't upload like competitive gameplay. Honestly, when I get too competitive, it just kind of ruins it for me because the only thing I can focus on is winning. And honestly, I think there's a lot more to these games than just winning every match that you play. Um, it's all about having fun and just enjoying, you know, what you're doing. So, I'm a very competitive person by nature. Look, t nice two uh, little headshots right there. Pick off that guy. I was going for the four-piece right there, but I messed it up. <laughs> I got a little uh, too excited. Um, but anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I'm, I don't like to be competitive because I am competitive by nature. So I have to kind of force myself to not be competitive. And it kind of um, it can end up pissing me off sometimes when, I, when I'm playing games and... Um, I, it, I just get too competitive about it, you know, that that's all there is to it. So that's why I like to be kind of a casual gamer that just likes to snipe. That's why I named myself I'm Average Sniper, you know, um, because I just like to have fun. So if I want to get into a tank or a helicopter and waste it, then I'm sorry, but that's just what I'm going to do because that might be fun for me. <laughs> you know? If I'm playing with a squad of people and we're playing serious, I would never do that. But um, if I'm just playing by myself and having fun, I will definitely uh, waste a vehicle or two just for fun, just to get some extra kills or just for entertainment, what have you. So as you can see, these guys are getting sniped, hence the title of the uh, episode, Interstate Sniper. And um, up here on the interstate is my favorite place to be. You're kind of out in the open. A lot of times when I play this map, I get killed up here pretty quickly because um, there's not really too much cover that you can take. But in this match, it worked out pretty well. Uh, so that is why I named this episode Interstate Sniper. It's kind of a little realistic too, because in real life, uh, if there's like a zombie apocalypse or something, crazy like that I would probably find myself if I was a surviving human and not a zombie eating brains I would probably find myself with a sniper rifle uh, trying to shoot zombies in the head from some high vantage point like up on this interstate more honestly I'd, I'd probably go for a skyscraper in that point so I could have a better defense against the zombies but in this map I had a interstate so let's just pretend that these uh, enemy guys are zombies thank you for reviving that guy <laughs> don't you love that when you um <laughs> when you uh, kill somebody and then somebody comes by and revives them and you just pop them right in the head again real quick. That is just that is just the best. So some pretty aggressive gameplay. Um, if you guys have been watching my Twitch lately, which I just started about a week ago, um, thank you very much for anyone who has been watching. And I'm basically just going to start broadcasting whenever I'm playing. Um, so if you guys want to uh, talk with me, um, just go to my Twitch channel. You can see the link right on the bottom of the screen there, twitch.tv. 
slash I'm Average Sniper. Uh, look me up, check it out, and um, I think you guys will enjoy it. I uh, can't promise amazingly awesome games every time I play, though. <laughs> that just that doesn't happen every time. But I do enjoy talking with you guys on Twitch, whether the game is exciting or boring. So got a couple guys, uh, looks like they're camping up in this room. Got that guy. I like to put my uh, spawn beacon down here, and that's one thing about this game I like a lot more than Hardline, is that you can actually use a spawn beacon on the recon class. Um, in Hardline, you cannot use a spawn beacon on the recon class, which kind of sucks. When you're playing Rush, which is my favorite game mode, the spawn beacon is pretty important. You can either put it pretty far away from the action, so you can be a long distance sniper and keep landing over there, or you can put it in a strategic place where you can land behind the enemies or um, just get back into a spot that's close to the objective. So uh, that spawn beacon has been very important for me. I probably don't use it as much as I should, but I have been working on it and I have been using it a lot more than normal. Because even in my Call of Duty days, I was never much of... Um, of a tactical insertion type of guy. Always been a sniper, but never much of a tactical inserter. So, um, let me talk a little bit about the SRR61. Um, this gameplay I got uh, probably a, a couple weeks ago, and I've just been saving it for you guys because i kind of been alternating the learning to snipe videos with uh, Battlefield 4 and then Battlefield Hardline and then back to Battlefield 4 and so on and so forth. The SRR61 is the sniper rifle I believe I've used the most. It's just so smooth and... I just like it. The bolt action speed isn't the fastest, but the smoothness of it really makes up for it. Um, other than that, the M98B is uh, definitely a beast. That thing feels like it has almost no bullet drop. Um, and yeah, the bolt action feels about the same as the SRR61. It's probably slightly different, but not by very much. And uh, I love that gun too. My favorite scopes to run are the 8x scope uh, with variable zoom, so I can switch to 14 uh, times for the long shots. And uh, also, I like to run the uh, 20 times scope uh, with rangefinder because I find that I can use the 20 times scope uh, up close or far away. And honestly, some of the best games I've had in Battlefield 4 so far have been with the uh, 20 times scope. I really, really like it and um, sometimes I'll put variable zoom on it so I can use it as a 14 times scope but mostly I just use it the, with the full blown 20. Um, if I had to pick a scope to use and I could never switch again I'd probably pick the 14 because that's in between the 8 and the 20 um, and that's actually a pretty good scope to use in Battlefield 4 but so far I think my favorite is actually the 20 times scope. It might not be the most practical one to use but I have been really enjoying it. Well, I hope you guys have um, enjoyed this gameplay. It's coming to a close here. I hope you guys enjoy the Battlefield 4 videos. I know they're a little different from the Hardline videos because Hardline is more um, arcade style. It seems like there's a lot more action happening because you're more close in. You know, Battlefield 4 is more spread out and tactical. But I have been having fun with Battlefield 4, you know, and... Um, it has just been awesome. So if you guys want to play with me, uh, just go ahead and send me a request. I can't respond to everybody. I've been getting a lot of messages, so if I don't answer, don't think I'm ignoring you. I probably just have my notifications turned off. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Subscribe or die, motherfucker!